What's up YouTube? So the EA Play event has, well, it happened about an hour ago and I've just been listening to 80s music on YouTube and I really actually been making this video. But I have made this video, well, not yet because I'm currently in the process, craziness. But anyway, we had some awesome, awesome game footage, Titanfall 2, we've got Battlefield 1, Mass Effect Andromeda, and well, like no footage of Star Wars at all. They said that they're working on, we've got Visceral, uh, we saw Criterion Games in the end slate of the trailer as well, which is interesting. And we also have Respawn working on something brand, brand new. But let's look at Titanfall. So I absolutely thoroughly loved the original Titanfall. I thought it was a lot of fun, the multiplayer was fun. It was something completely new. The maps were um, okay, I will say that at best. But what I can say is that it was just relentlessly fun. Non-stop, getting your Titan to drop. And Correct. well, that's it really. It was My just pilot was just a lot of fun. But a lot of people had the complaint that well, there's no single player in it. And you're being asked to pay forty pounds for no single this. player, which, in my opinion, is a big ask, really, because no well, I bought uh, Overwatch, and I'm lucky that I'm really enjoying it. But there's no single player in that, so I'd be a bit of a hypocrite if I said that. Well, there's no point in buying a full price title without a single player. But my complaint was that the gameplay is so much fun, and the Titans are so well kind of coded and made that, well, it would be kind of a waste not to have a single player. And our answers are being, well, <laughs> answers, <laughs> our actual, well, requests are being answered, and we're getting a single player with it, which looks to be a lot of fun. And it seems that the kind of bond between pilot and actual titan is going to be a big part of it and i'm interested to see how it's going to work i probably from the trailer i reckon we're going to have certain levels that are only titans kind of big cod set pieces and then we're going to have parts where it's like a single player shooter where you're working in the corridor etc but anyway let's move on to mass effect i'm excited for titanfall 2 now, Mass Effect Andromeda, I kind of have a love and hate thing with Mass Effect. Is now, this is what I can see. It seems to be pretty to much the same the trailer that we had, I think it was Push last year, limits. maybe? I can't and really remember, but it's been a while. And it's been a while since Mass Effect 3 came out, where you pretty much choose your own ending. Now, I didn't really like the Mass first Effect, Mass Effect. Going further than ever I found that the side missions, etc., were really boring. Of course, the story was fun, to I thought. Dwelling. But it had to the kind of open world crap humanity. in it, which I didn't really enjoy that much. Mass Effect 2 was an absolutely stellar game. From start to finish, actually, I say start to finish, the wacky wave of inflatable enemy at the end was just, just a bit too much for my liking. But I think that they're going to go Dragon Age Inquisition with this and have it completely adventure, just so free and open. And the, and the technology waiting to be that is going to be behind this is going to be amazing. And they really do put a lot into their games. I love Bioware. I love them to bits. I've been a fan since the first Neverwinter Nights game. And possibly, I think even before that, Baldur's Gate. But I don't really remember playing it that much. So my first real Bioware game was Neverwinter Nights. And I do hope they go back to that style. I love Knights of the Republic. And they do have a Star Wars license as well. Because well, obviously they've got Knights of the Republic, but I think they're going to be doing a brand new game based on that. So God knows when that's coming out because Andromeda's taken a while to ship. But this does look interesting, but I think Mass Effect is incredibly overrated for what it is. But anyway, let's move on to the cream de la creme or creme de la creme even which is battlefield one now battlefield again is a game which i have loved from day one i first played 1942 in the demo stage at my local internet cafe yes back in the day kids me and my friends or my friends and i used to go to a building where we used to pay 
to play PC games in a LAN setting. A LAN setting is, is where you have computers next to each other and they are networked through a network cable, which is, and still is, a hell of a lot of fun. But this game just looks insane. Battlefield 4 was just a big shit, I thought, but it just didn't really click with me. Battlefield 3, I loved to absolute pieces. But this, holy crap, does this look hype as shit. Look at it. Just at, look at this. On a sidecar, it, just, oh, it brings back memories playing the World War One mod of Battlefield 1942. And also the fun of getting in the older planes and not going as fast as the jets in the modern type games, which I find a bit too fast. I'm, I'm old, so, so I'm weird, but that, that's holy shit. This looks just a lot of fun, and I'm, I'm hoping that it's going to get a lot of you kids and a lot of people into history and really learning about World War One, because I think the market age of these games is teenagers and well this is what they're studying I'm guessing in school so it's a good thing but anyway I think EA had a great presence at E3 my only complaint was that there wasn't much game first on Xbox one with but EA access whatever that's been me drop a like and a subscribe I'll be back soon goodbye